Okay, and hello and welcome everyone. It is 5.30 now and, and um, what I'm going to, to do is I, I went ahead and started even though I'm still waiting on people to join because we are recording this session and it's um, one hour long and I want to make sure that um, I use the entire time because people um, looking at this video on the review will be able to, to see everything. Uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, kind of remind you of the important dates that we have here. So let me let me do this. I'm going to bring your attention to this screen here. Okay, so here we have, um, and, uh, give me a second here, there we go. Okay, so here we have everything. Uh-oh. I hope this is still working here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we have the overview of all the dates. And I just kind of wanted to remind you of what those dates are. As you can see, the deadline for the first test is, is tomorrow. Um, today's the 30th. So um, that was the reason. It was my intention to have this on the 23rd, but we had some technical, technical difficulties in getting this um, up and running. And so, um, um, but the test is tomorrow. So we want to make sure that you do get that done uh, in a timely manner. So you want to make your way. I, I did have a lot of questions about test. The test is taken at the Plant City campus in Plant City, Florida. Um, we have had some people who are out of town, but you really are going to really the, um, you really need to take it at the Plant City campus. Now, if there's an emergency, um, or if you are out of state, uh, for those students who are living out of state, we're going to have to work something out for you, but that, that would, would need a lot of time, um, to do this first test really needs to be done at the Plant City on campus. And of course, you can see the deadlines for all those. So remember, you're working on your own with the with the homework and everything else in the lessons. And then you go to the campus to take the test. You do not need to call them and set up any kind of arrangement to do that. All you do is walk into the test center, show them your ID, tell them you're here to take a test for um, Professor Wilson, and make sure you, you know, tell them what the class is they will have your test ready. I've already put your names on the test and took them to the test center. Um, all three tests, so all of that is done. The only thing that is not done is the final exam, and I'm, I'm gonna put those over there as we get closer to that date. All right, let me go back to the, um, the whiteboard, uh, if possible. So let me pause the share. Okay. All right, so perfect. So here we have, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a, I'm going to try to put a practice test up here for you, some something that may help you. Um, if it allows me to work with this, let's see if we can drag this over. I, I really don't know if you're able to see this or not. It's, um, all right. Um, I'm going to try to copy these tests over. If that doesn't work, then I have something else I'm going to try. That won't work. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing that and go to the practice test instead. All right, so here's a practice test, and let me annotate it. Perfect. 
Okay, so um, this is a copy of the test. I'm going to put a copy of this test in the, um, well, what I will probably do is um, email everyone this. Um, but everything, if you want to find it, there's a, there's a place that you can go, and I'll show you um, in a little second. Let me get out of the annotation screen for a second. It is highly recommended um, that you use this practice test. Um, you will find that the in it. There we go. You will find that um, the people who actually look at this test and review review it tend to have much higher scores um, overall. And so this is one of the gifts I had planned to give the people who um, had shown up to this meeting. Oh, the, neat, the other thing about this practice test is that all of the answers to this are on the back. But you will find that the, the questions are very, very similar to how the questions are on the, um, on the actual test. All right, so I've highlighted a couple just to try to, I'm trying to guess and see what people may have questions about. Let's look at, I don't know, let's look at uh, number... Let's look at number nine. Let's look at number nine. I don't know how this drawing thing is going to work here. I hope it works. Okay. All right, it works. <laughs> Hard to write without being sloppy <laughs> on this because I'm using a writing tablet. So, but we'll, I'll do my best. Um, basically, the idea is that you would distribute um, that negative there. Um, hello, Ingress. How are, how are you doing? Can you hear me? Um, Ingress, if you can hear me, let me know because I, I cannot hear you. Let me see here. Uh, let me stop this share. Well, actually, let me finish the problem first, and then I'll, I'll go. I'll stop. I'll... Okay, so here we have, um, you want to distribute that negative so it becomes 9m minus 7n plus 2p. Uh, and honestly, you would just you would just leave it like that. Um, with the additive inverse, they're just looking for the opposite of the number. So this is a negative ten; it would be plus ten. And there's no need to write a plus sign. It's understood to be positive. Oh, okay, so those are all right. So I'm going to have to clear that. That's not going to travel with it. All right, so let's go on. Um, let me see here. Some people... Some people may have a problem with 22. All right, so um, the way you would do that, it was you would use the LCD, which on that problem, you know, five and three, so the LCD is 15, right? So you would times 15 here, 15 there, and 15 there. So basically, whenever you find the LCD, you would put it on each term. Then the idea is that you would cancel out, because the idea of doing it this way is in order to cancel out the denominators. So 15 divided by five, right? 15 divided by five is three. But there's already a two X there. I'm trying to write a parenthesis here. Minus sign. And then 15 divided by three is five. Go X. And then 15 times 3 is 45. 
Okay, this ends up being 6x minus 5x equals 45. 6 minus 5 is 1x, or just x equals 45, and that's for number 22. We will now check our answer. Twenty-two, as you can see, is forty-five. Let's see. Um, with 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 twenty-three. Oh, so twenty-four. That would be the same thing. You multiply everything by five. You know, same thing here. 25 multiply everything by 4. The 4, you know, when you put it over here, will cancel. Uh, but this one here, 23. Let's write this one up um, so I can show it bigger. X plus 6 over 5 equals R plus 8 over seven. All right, we're gonna multiply both sides by uh, the LCD, like I was saying before, which is 30. Mm -mm. Um, the LCD in this case is 35. So to do this kind of a, uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's just um, clear that out. Let me try this again. Don't know what happened to my pen just now. LCD is third, uh, third is 35. All right, so to do this type of problem, you would put 35 here, and you would put the 35 here. And what happens is that because of 35, it's supposed to cancel out with the five, because the idea is that you would uh, get rid of the denominator. And so it's kind of five goes into five one time and goes into 37 seven times. So that's why it would be a seven there. Same here. Seven goes into seven one time, but seven goes into 35 five times. So we're going to rewrite this problem here as seven times x plus six. And then we're going to rewrite this problem as five I mean, you notice I'm putting it in the front, and then r plus 8. And then, of course, from here, you would just um, use distributive property. And um, for those that are coming on, we're in the middle of a uh, – because I'm recording the session, uh, that's why I'm working out the problems now, because um, for those who weren't able to make it, I'm, I'm basically going through test problems. So what we are doing at this time – is we are going through, let me see if I can erase, yeah, erase the annotation here. Okay, yeah, um, we said that we would highly recommend this because of course the, the due date for the test is tomorrow and that we would highly recommend that you go through some of these practice problems um, because you'll see a lot of them on the test. I'm also gonna have a copy of this test. And um, let, me, let me chat because I see someone here and I am trying to figure out where to um, to chat with you here's here's a chat box here it is okay oh no I'm not able to I'm not able to chat okay so it's not there okay let me go on to another question um, Ingris can you hear me yes oh perfect perfect okay I don't have um, it seems like I don't have you on your, your, um, what device are you using to connect? Um, my, um, laptop, my you, Mac. Your Mac? That's interesting mm -hmm. because I don't see, I don't see a, a chat box for you. Normally a chat box would pop up. So I'm not able to, you're not able to, but I think I just put one, pulled one up. Yeah. Cause I see. Um, interesting. I normally have it.
Yeah, I don't I don't see. I don't see one. But anyway. Okay. Well, anyway, while we're doing that, let me let me just go over. Um, let me let me. I'm going to try to finish this. I'm going to try to finish um, as much of this test as possible. And um, if you need me to do anything, I will. I will. Um, I will do that. But I'm going to try to finish this first one, and then I can uh, maybe entertain some questions here. All right. So let me clear my drawing. Uh, turn off the annotation. All right. Okay. So, um, yeah. So when you these kind of problems, when you get them on the test, um, like I said, the ones that have the fractions tend to uh, confuse some people. But again, my my advice would be to to just try to find the LCD and and do them that way. Now, I I want to go over either 27 or 28 because I believe that the test will have one, maybe one of these problems. Um, of course, I'm not allowed to share the test with you, but I have a, I do have a copy of what you're um, going to have. And let me see if that question is on there because I want to make sure that, let me see decimals. Decimal. Okay, so it looks like I. It looks like you're not gonna have. Okay, so you're not gonna have a decimal. So let me go on. Um. Okay, for the word problems and the percent problems, um, we basically will need a. We need a simple formula for this. Um, so basically the formula for, for the percent problems and the commission problems are pretty much all the same. Um, what we have would be the original price and it's kind of hard writing with this, uh, this writing tablet. Uh, I'm going to do my best here. I'm just going to put, oh wow, I don't know what's going on. Original, hmm, why is that happening? Let me try it again. Erase. Okay. Having some technical problems here. I'm just going to put an O for original price. <laughs> That'll save me. All right, original price. You want to multiply that times whatever the percent is. And that will give you it, you know, if it's a sale, if it's a sale problem, it's going to give you the discount. It's not going to give you the amount of the sale. So you have to be very careful with what it's asking you. It's only going to give you what the discount is. So, for example, original price of something is actually, no, because once I move this, it's not going to, um, let me, let me do this. I want to use an example by using an actual problem here. Oh no no that's not an example. This is this is um Okay, well this this is a good example. Um now even though I said original times percent it, it you know different pro this can work with different types of problems. Um for instance here where it says the Penner family paid 30% of the purchase price um of a $184,000 home determine the uh, the down payment so they're telling you, so basically you would take the original. So I'm going to move this, but I just want to see it. 184,000 would be the original. The percent would be the 30%. So you always get these percents by just multiplying the original by whatever the percent is. So in this case, it would be the, um, so it would be the 184,000. And you would multiply that by the, I don't remember, was it 18? Um, if it's 18, 30%. it was 30. Yes, thank you, thank you. And don't forget to put a point three, point thirty, because it has to change to a decimal. Okay, and once we find this, 
that yeah. would be our number. You kind of have to remember that on the test, calculators are not permitted. So I don't know how many people know that, but um, that's pretty important <laughs> information. It's 5,400. So 5,400 would be the amount um, of the discount. Um, and of course, because they're not doing it in calculators, they're just going to have to, you know, they would have to do it this way. I think I left off a zero times a 30. It would be a decimal there. And so just reminding you in order to do this, um, one easy way that I do it is I just ignore all the zeros totally. And just do the three times the eight, which is 24. And then three times one, which is three plus two is five. And then I would add one two, three, four zeros. And then I count the numbers behind the decimal. One, two. So that many numbers must be behind my decimal. So it must be there. So that's how you would do it without the calculator. All right. Um, let's try another one here. And I may need to, I'm just kind of looking through here. Um, nine times the sum of a number, and let me do that one. Oh, yeah, those are kind of tricky because it, it you would think that, actually, you know what, let me, I'm going to make this bigger. Uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can increase the size. There we go. That may be a little bit more readable. Okay, so annotate, all right, good. Nine times the sum of a number. So let's say the number is X. We know that the number is X. We know that the sum means plus, and we know that this means nine. We know that negative 36 is negative 36. We know this means equal, and we know this means negative 72. Now, if we were to just write it like this, nine plus X, it, it definitely, would not be correct. So um, what we would need to do is somehow write the problem that signifies that it's nine times the sum. Okay, and so since we are taking nine times the sum, we are, we are adding first, because it says the sum. So what are we taking the sum of? We're taking the sum of a number and 36. So since we are taking the sum of a number and 36, that would be, um, it's not working here. There we go. Uh oh. That would be x plus 30, negative 36. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, let me. Okay. Clear all drawings. Not sure why it's doing this. I'll just, um, there we go. Try it again. All right, so X plus negative 36. And I'm taking the sum of that, so I'm putting it in parentheses. And because it's nine times, I'm gonna put the nine on the outside. So if you look at how this reads, nine, times the sum. So nine times the parentheses, the sum. So you want to make sure that when you have nine times the sum or nine times the difference, which would change this to a subtraction, that you have it on the outside of a parentheses. And of course, for the equal, you would write the equal and the negative 72, you would write it like that. Um, to, fin to go ahead and finish this problem, we would distribute here. So that would be um, nine times x. Uh, I'm going to just kind of put it over here in my space, 9x, 9 times. Now, I'm not going to write the plus sign because if I have a plus and a minus, honestly, it's easy to just ignore the plus and go with the minus um, because it's still a positive times a negative. It's the number. It's the sign of the number that I care about. So this is a positive 9. It's a negative 36. So that's going to be a negative um, 324. So I'm just going to write minus 
324 equals negative 72. Oh, this is really just, all right. <laughs> okay, and then from here, I'm going to add 324 to both sides. Okay, of course, it cancels here. And of course, this, because the signs are different, is a negative and a positive, I'm going to subtract. So 324 minus 72 gives me 252. Okay, so that's going to be 252, and it's positive because of the higher number, the higher number is positive, and we have the 9x. Then from here, you would divide the 252 by 9. And then, of course, 9 divided by 252. 9 goes in twice. Uh, 25 minus 18 is 72. So it's 28. And I know the handwriting's all over the place here. So the answer is 28. But the neat thing about this test review what I was saying is that this was number 51. Okay, and I'm gonna remember, I wanna give you a copy of this. This is number 51. If you go back, see all the answers are here. So you can go back and check. See, there's 51 there, 28. So, you know, what I would encourage everyone to do is work these problems out, try to see as how many of them you can get right. And I've had very few people who have passed this test but fail the actual test, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of sharing with you the importance of, I'm sharing with you the importance of this test review because if you can do the test review, then you will be able to pass that test. And that's, of course, assuming you haven't taken it yet. Um, okay, so let me just um, drop down because there, this is chapter, the test covers chapter nine and chapter 10. And let me just um, let me let me do something here to kind of give just a step back to kind of show you something really quick. I'm going to share a new screen of mine. Let's see here. I'm going to share this one, my desktop. Okay, so that you can kind of see more of what's going on here. All right, and what I'm going to do is go to my course home just to kind of give you some information here if you look if you look at let's see here okay so just to just to make sure and i can i can take questions now because of before i but what well, well first let me finish my thought my about what the test is going to be on this is a unit one test so all of the assignments in unit one are listed here. Let me see if I can, will they allow me to? Okay, they, they, they are. So the test covers these lessons in unit one. So basically with this review, the reason it says chapter nine and then six, five, six, seven, is because you have chapter nine, six, five, and six, seven. Everything else is chapter nine. So that this test, this pretest covers the information in here. This is very important because I need you to really uh, remember that regardless if you have finished these assignments or not, you need to take the test by the deadline. So it's more important because of the weight of the test that you that you go and take that test regardless of your progress in this uh you know so if if, if you're someone who started late or whatever the reason is the, the deadline is the deadline so what you have to do you would have to jump to this and you would just have to focus on this and try to you know try to get a good grade in the test because at the end of the day if you pass all the three tests, you will be passing the class plus the final. You know, if so, if you pass all, if you pass all the tests, and you pass the final, you will pass the class. 
Now, you may not pass with an A or a B, you know, if you don't really do this, your, your homework. And the homework, of course, helps you to prepare. But I'm just kind of giving you an overview, you know, as far as this before I go on. Okay, so basically this test here, chapter nine, is covering this. And then I'm going to bring up a, the chapter 10 and I'm going to ask if you have any questions on that. And then I said, uh, this is only an hour. So we're already at half an hour. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to uh, waste too much time uh, talking about this. So I just want to kind of show you. The other thing, the other thing is this very important document sharing. If you go to document sharing, you'll find some very important things. And in fact, you see here where it says lecture schedule. So if you ever needed the lecture, lecture schedule, look in the document sharing section. I'm going to provide a transcript of this video to all the students that if you ever, um, you know, those of you who aren't watching now can look at this and see where it is. I don't know if that may be too late, you know, because the test is tomorrow. The, the um, test is tomorrow. However, it looks like I already have five downloads on this. So it looks like people did know about that. But um, I'm going to upload this test review. I'm going to upload this test review that I'm showing you here. I'm going to upload it to the document sharing section. So it's at the conclusion of this video, just go to the document sharing section. If you don't remember anything else, <laughs> go to the document sharing section um, of your My Math Lab on the left hand side and work through these problems and match them up with the answers on the back. And if your answers are wrong, go back, uh, fix it, try to find out what you did. All right. Now, uh, Ingress or Raphael, looking at any of these problems, uh, and I know I'm, I'm speeding through, is there anything on here that you would like me to cover that I did not get? Or, I'm okay. No, not I really. Not for me. I'm I, I'm okay. I just I just got in kind of a little late. Uh, I yeah. just probably just needed a quick brief overview, maybe of what went on before I jumped in. And I can, got you. I pretty much got what you just said in the last like three to four minutes. Got you. Okay. Well, what I'll do, I'm just going to give you a two second a two second overview, since because what what is, what's going on is I'm recording this lecture, so. Yeah. I, so I will be able to show you this um, afterwards and you can go back and catch up on my, maybe the details. But the only thing that I was saying um, before you got here was that this, well, I actually already said it, that th basically that this test review uh, for chapter nine and chapter 10 are going to really help you out for the test tomorrow. Okay. Um, and so basically now I'm just going through, but I kind of been repeating things as I see people coming in, I kind of just repeat it again. So that, so you really didn't miss anything big except me working through some problems. Uh, right. and, and, and I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm copying this video. So we'll just give you a transcript of that. So what I'm going to do now is pull up the, let's pull up the, the next test review, chapter 10. Okay. So here it is now. And um, let's see if I can make that bigger. This is the exponent section. Um, this was a this was a this was a tough section. Um, let me see here. Let me see if I can. Yeah, this was a this was a tough section. So I'm not sure how many of you <laughs> how far you've gotten. Um, let me look at this. Let me look at the first page. Uh, and you can call out a number if you if you have is only two here. So that's great because if I had 30, I wouldn't be able to do everyone. But uh, is there anything here that I need to go over on one of these? Anyone in particular would be fine with me. Okay. Um, let's try. Well, let me just do let me do number four. Okay, so with number four. All right, perfect. So that's going to be, you know, these are really simple. <laughs> they're, they're very simple. You just, you treat the numbers like you would normally treat it since three times eight is 24. And if it's, you know, three times negative eight, negative 24. So your answer is going to be negative 24. And then of course the exponent rule says that when you're multiplying, you're supposed to add the exponents. So it's just a plus two. So that's going to be 24 P 10. Okay. So so when you, and, and please remember that when you want to check your answer, number four, you just simply, uh-oh. Let me have to, I have to get that out. 
Number four is in the back here. So I'm, I'm just scrolling fast. See, negative 24 P10. Okay, I got you. okay so so you do it you do it and then you want to check your you want to check your work All right let me let me go on let's do let's do 12 here that one's getting a little bit more involved oh well actually let me do 11 and 12 because by doing 11 it may help you just in case you're struggling with this before i do 12 so let me prick, um, press my annotate again format settings good all right so this is just the five. There's no number on the bottom. So I can just write that five over. And with, remember when we are dividing exponents, we use the, the quotient rule, which is to subtract the exponents. Okay, so just like multiply means add, divide means you would subtract. So 10 minus seven, if we're division, would be x to the three. So it's very simply 5x3. All right, so here, okay. So anytime you have an exponent on the outside of parentheses, we're gonna use what's called the power rule. What that really means is that the five goes on everything inside. So the five goes on the four, but it's not times four, it's, it's raised to the fifth power. So that's gonna be four to the fifth power. X three raised to the fifth power. So that looks like this. Now, I usually don't, people normally don't do this, they just kind of work out the problem, but I'm kind of doing it the long way just to show you what's happening. If the five is going on everything, Y two, is raised to the fifth power. Okay, so then what happens to all those fives? Well, they, they, they're applied to the numbers. So four to the fifth power. And of course, you, you know, you're not allowed to use calculators. So please keep in mind that um, you will have to multiply that out. So it'll be four times four times four times four times four. I, I believe that's um, hold, on, hold on. No, that's not right. That's just 16. Oh, you know what? That's going to be 16 times 16, which is 256. So it'll be that number times, not 14, that number times four. Yeah, that should be right, which is 1,024. All right, so we have 1,024. And that may be the hardest part. Is trying to figure out the multiplication. But anyway, we're here. When any time an exponent's on the outside, you multiply. So that's just three times five. So it's X15. And on the bottom, two times five. Exponent on the outside, 10. All right, now let's look at these. So it's five X3. And then 1,024 X15 over Y10. All right, so that is for 11 and 12. So, and again, I'm, I'm checking my own work here. So 11, 5x3, and then the 1,024x15 and the y10. All right, let's look at, um, now, negative exponents. This was a, um, well, let me look at the test here and see how much, uh, negative exponents are on this test or wh how well you'll need to know this. Yes, I do see them. You will, you will need to know. Let's, you, um, I'll actually tell you now. I would, when you get this test, put a star by 13. You're going to see that. You're going you're gonna to see 15. You're going to see 16, that is. You, I see a problem that looks just like 16, and I see a test problem that looks just like 13. So you want to make sure. So I will do those now so that you can get the benefit of seeing how you do those on a test. Um, how many test, questions are on the test? The test has thirty-seven problems. Okay. Half, um, I'm, go ahead. And I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with. It. Are we going on campus to take the test, or will it be? 
Yeah, that yes, yeah, that actually that was one of the things I had I had talked about um before actually even yeah. before Ingress got on. Um so basically the test has to be taken at the Plant City campus. Um so you have to you you basically all of the tests are currently there. All of the tests have the names of all this, all of the students who are uh, currently attending the class. So all you would need to do is go to the test center, show them your ID. You do not have to call and make an appointment. Um, the only thing you need to do is walk into the test center, say, I am take, I'm here to take a test for um, Professor Wilson, you know, and, and you may have to tell them the course name. But they, they should know because I've already talked to them about this. Yeah, and then you just, and that's it. But then mm, I just mentioned. Go ahead, Ingris. When I, um, I had to make an that there, um, I said it was pulling up, they're going to be taking is as well like midterm. You are, you are, you're, 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 um, the sound was cutting out a lot, so I wasn't able to hear it uh, except the, the very first and last statement. Oh, sorry, that, um, Essentially, it's better if you make um, an appointment to take it because sometimes there isn't enough space, I guess. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm, I made it last week. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. And, I, and actually, that's a very good point, uh, simply because since we have an online class, it could, be that, it could be that everybody who is trying to get in to take the test, it, it may be, um, you know, they may not have enough seats available. So that, that is an actual... Um, you know, so that's a real <laughs> concern. I had thought about that. So yeah, thank you for telling me that. So it may be better to make an appointment. Ingrid, do you happen to have the number here so I can say it out loud for everyone who will be watching the video on the replay? The number for, for the, um, no, I don't. Okay, well, um, if we get that. Okay, well, maybe I can provide that before the end of this. And just to yeah, make but it's, it's really fast. You can go online and just find the testing center and then you can make an appointment early in the morning once once they open. Okay. Okay. So Okay, so yeah, cuz I would do that um is there a certain time or is Okay, so here you can see you just have to take it by the end of the day. So since here here is their number here. Let's blow that up for you. I right, got it. All right, good. And um and of course, eight to seven. Uh, okay. It's it's yeah. walking. Well, no, 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 no. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michaela Bono. She's the Michelle. She's the one who gives it. That's her number. And she's very responsive with emails as well. So, um, so if you call her or email, she can help you out. Okay, I'll definitely do that in the morning. Now, if there's a situation where it's too full, I will need documentation. So what okay. you would have to do is. In that case, you would need to email her. And, you know, if she says it's too full, say, hey, I'm going to send you an email. Can you just say that to me? And then you would forward that email to me. Not a problem. Right. Because uh, the deadline is tomorrow. But, you know, if it's too full, then that, that's yeah. kind of not your fault. So. Right. Okay. Right. No, that's not a problem at all. I'll, I'll definitely be early in the morning. I'll try to uh, make the appointment. If not, I'll see what happens. Okay, good. So like I said, so what I would do, um, but going back to here, what I would do before you take the test is this chapter 10. And, and actually, um, let me, I'm going to upload those right now. So give me a second, because I want to, I'm going to do this right here in front of you. We're going to upload the test. Here it is, Chapter 9, Practice. Okay, so those of you who are wanting to find this file, Chapter 9, Test. I'm kind of showing you exactly what I'm doing here so that you can see where it is. So when you go to Document Sharing, you'll see Chapter 9, Practice Test here. Okay, let me um, upload the Chapter 10. Okay, so we have there. Okay, and that's chapter 10 test. 
So at this point, I think the most important thing, and I know I keep saying it, but the most important thing to do is get ready for the test. Don't worry about the homework that is not finished. You know, if you were, if you were to, because the test outweighs the sum of the, the entire homework. So, you know, uh, right. so yeah. So basically at this point now, of course, once the test is taken, I'm not saying homework is not important. I'm just saying for tomorrow, right. um, you need, I would just be working on these. And so let me show you what's where it is so that everybody, cause that's, like I said, that's the most important thing. Okay. So you log in. Okay. So, and once you log in, of course you want to select the card that, Roof, you know, refer to your class. Then you want to look on the left side. It will be in document sharing. Right. Very simple to get to. All you have to do is go to document sharing, and there it is. Chapter nine, chapter. If you click on it, it will automatically download, and then just click on it, and you'll just it'll show up. Okay. See, from there you can print it out if you have a printer, or you just want to just look on it online. You can do it like that. And remember, all the answers are in the back. Answer key, yeah. Yeah, which is why, again, why the people who showed up here for this, you know, obviously are going to be way ahead of the game than those right, who right, totally. didn't. <laughs> right, because most people aren't going to know that it's there. I mean, I'm going to send out an email, but um, a lot of people won't know. So you guys would be way ahead of it because these practice tests do mimic the actual tests. The only thing different about the test are the number, you know, they use different numbers, but the types of problems are different and you will find it'll be kind of difficult. I, I won't, I won't lie to you. They are difficult. I've, I've, you know, uh, this is already difficult being an online class. So you don't get the benefit of having me, you know, you kind of have to watch the videos. Um, right. And so I, I, I want to give that disclaimer out there that they may seem difficult, but just, you know, just do what you can and, 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 and do your best on it. Uh, have any of you had trouble accessing the video lessons in order to get the instructionals? No. No, I haven't. Okay, good. And then, of course, you know, you also know that when you are doing a lesson that you can use help me uh, show me an example and all yes. of that. Yeah, all right. uh, yeah, that's my best friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that's my best friend. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you have, if you ever, um, you know, I'm actually uh, – easy to work with. So if you have a, a problem on a homework that you are really just trying to get, you know, you can, you can um, email me and just, just kind of let me know if you've tried everything and you can't figure it out and maybe I can kind of help you out, you know, and see what we can do and just kind of work, work through things together. Okay. But um, again, the main thing is that because it's, it's 618, so I'm going to have to start wrapping up because I did say we would close at 630. So I want to remind you that we take three tests and a final. So um, what I was saying at the very beginning, and I'm going to kind of go ahead and repeat what I said at the very beginning of class, and that is that, um, let me see here. And that is that you really, really, this overview is the most important thing that you really need to follow. The test deadlines, these test deadlines, one, two, and three, correspond with these units. So they give you an idea of the kind of pacing that you're going to need to follow. And as you can see here, you know, the next test is, is 1121. So that's, that's not, even, that's really only two or three weeks. And I know it's a lot. I understand that. It is a lot, but we didn't start at the beginning of the semester. So this was a very much accelerated class. Um, and not only is the class accelerated, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a two-way class, which already has a lot of work. So I, I tried to, I don't know if you got to watch the intro video where I explained to you that a lot of people do spend five to six hours almost per night sometimes just because they're trying to finish. So it, it is a lot. We do, re we do recognize that, especially in an accelerated class, but um, just kind of be, you know, pay attention to these deadlines because they are important. And of course the homework that's due. So basically, but that's why I said, don't worry about the due date. So if you've only done half of this, <laughs> stressing out about, well, I need my homework's not done. That's why I said that statement about just forget the homework, <laughs> try to pa try to pass that the practice test. Because at the end of the day, the test outweighs the sum of all the homework. 
Right. right. And so you could pass the class by just passing the test in the final exam, you know? Mm-hmm. So, so I'm just trying to help you get, get some, you know, organization together. And like I was telling English, <laughs> that doesn't mean homework is not important, but you know, in the bigger scheme of things, just kind of knowing how things are set up, I think is going to help you in the long run. No, that totally did. I mean, I didn't, you know, I was stressing out a little bit. I still have some homework to do. So I was right. like, okay. And then I, I was like, it's a test conference. Oh man, it's a test. It's a test. You know, and I looked yeah. at that deal. Exactly. And, and, but well, you know, what you could do now, one way, one way to, to make good use of your time would be say, uh, let's say that you needed help with, I don't know, because I know, oops, I shouldn't be showing you the actual test. (laughs) 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 That was the wrong thing. Hopefully you won't screenshot that or if you, (laughs) Uh, (laughs) but anyway. (laughs) We're not that savvy, but some people are, man. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I may have to cut that part out the out the screen recording, but but let's just say let's say you needed help with uh with 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 70 here. Right? So you you keep doing this and you're getting this wrong. Now, this is the practice test. You know, so here's 70. You go, you know, you check your answer and you notice to yourself, you know what? I don't know. I don't really feel comfortable with any of these um with any of these linear inequalities. Okay? Well, then don't go and do the homework on it because that just is going to be a lot of time. Watch the video for that lesson, then come back and try the problem again. Right. So again, that's just an effective use of your time, you know, to try to get that test out. Yeah. So that's, that's, I'm just kind of recommending this as a strategy to try to help, you know, to help you if you're not quite finished. Right. Yeah. yeah because no, definitely that, is, that helps. No, Sorry. Wait, go ahead. How long do we have before we can submit the homework, or is it by the end of the actual class? Bye. Um, well, basically, all the all the homework is due on the test day. So if you noticed, um, let me go to this ten six here. Oh, it, it doesn't. Say, I guess it doesn't say it on the. Let me let me go straight to the homework and see. If the due date, oh, the due date is not there. I guess in this version, it's not showing. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let me let me just remind you, Ingrid. I'm 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 getting to your question, but I'm I'm trying to get this yeah, that's fine. roundabout way here. Okay. So basically, I had talked to you about viewing everything from the assignments tab, because if you view everything from the assignments tab, you see a big picture of everything. Um, so basically, as you can see here, this is everything. So, but if you lo- notice the due dates for all of these are on the 31st, which is the same day as a test. Mm-hmm. That corresponds to this, which says that um, all the homework is due. So that's what this means, basically, that all the homework and quizzes are due by this deadline. So basically, each homework has the deadline of that particular test. Okay, but if we're not finished with the homework, like you said, go ahead and take the test, but how would you grade the, the homework itself oh, after no. we take the test? Oh, well, those, those homeworks would get zero. Yeah, those homeworks would be counted as zeros. Okay. But, 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 but that was the reason why I said, you know, I kind of calculated that into the scheme of things when I said that, at the end of the day, the test is still more important. Mm-hmm. In other words, in other words, getting hundreds on te- getting one hundreds on homeworks, but failing a test is not as good as passing that test and not doing well on the homework. Does that make sense? Yeah, <laughs> so basically, basically, because we're at the kind of at the day before the test, to focus on the homework kind of is 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 you know almost irrelevant because that test is what you, that's what you need to pass. Okay. Yeah, but what's going to happen is, yes, those are turned to zeros. But keep in mind the quizzes. So, you know, those quizzes have to be due. Um, so basically, you know, going forward, though, just kind of make sure when you start test two and test three, because remember, you can, if you fail the first test, you can still, you can still pass. Um, because I do think, I do believe I have an option in there where the final exam will replace the lowest test score. Yeah. 
Okay, so that may that may kind of be a a lifesaver for some of you. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. But but what you, what you would do is when you're starting after you take the test, you want to have this homework and all of you're gonna have to paste it yourself in order to be finished by this day. Right, and then of course there's a study session in here. So those of you who need help, I email out the study session. I, I email. I'm gonna email this this Zoom link. And you can kind of go in there in the middle and kind of ask me questions, whatever you need help with. And then so long as that test is taken by that date. Okay, so basically all homework, all quizzes. Yeah, go ahead, Rafael. Are, are, are the study ses sessions online or are they, there in, uh, are they also at the um, campus in Plant City? No, you're in one. <laughs> okay, so we're on the talk. Okay, 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 I got you. Yeah. And I just I just totally just had a brain fart too cuz I weirded out looking at this. I'm looking at it while we're talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're well, but keep in mind this date is wrong because I, I said at the right. beginning of the video we had technical difficulties and so I had to push this right. back a week. But but this one now that we're on this platform everybody uh understand I, mean, I understand it how to use the functions of it. This okay. This you can already just set your calendar date and just put this in your calendar because I will be here. Um, okay. Yeah, and it most likely it says at five, but really I started at five thirty, just five o'clock because I, I get on there at five. So if anybody needs me earlier, okay. you know. No, another quick question: um, yeah. Are you available um, during the day? Like I don't know your schedule or when you're in Plant City. Um, but like in, if we needed help, I know that you mentioned that you would be the person to talk to essentially. Yes. Um, I can, what I can do, you know, we're still working this out as far as the online, um, classes, you know, I could probably, probably the best way for me to be available is to just kind of do a broadcast with you. I do, okay. um, I do teach at um, Polk State College, uh, and, and several other places. So I, I do. Uh, I, I would need to kind of know in advance that you would need help, but I am okay. not opposed to getting on a broadcast and just working out a problem for you or something like that. You know, I could probably, okay. uh, what I, what, let me say it this way. I can probably give 10, 10 to 15 minutes um, if you needed some specific help. Hopefully that would be enough. Um, but you could imagine with a class, but we have almost 25, it would be impossible to yeah. do plus um, my other classes, but, you know, if you needed just 10 minutes of my time, I can I can set up a Zoom broadcast with you and, and just, uh, you know, give you a time that's good for me and we just work it out. And then I can still give you a copy of it, too. Um, so that's the good thing. Okay. OK, so I hope uh, uh, was this helpful for you as far as uh, <laughs> what we um, discussed today. Yeah, yeah, and I think it'll be more helpful that we'll have the practice test okay. as an example, which I think is good. Okay, yeah, I perfect. think that this is definitely helpful. I mean, going forward, I think it would even be more so um, just being able to kind of set up the way we study and know what's more important. You know? Okay, perfect. Well, um, it's 628, so I'm going to go ahead and give my closing remarks. At the end of the closing remarks, I am going to, uh, what I'm going to do is stop the lesson. Uh, it's going to take a while for the video to encode. And I'll probably email that out to everybody. You guys don't have to waste that hour again since, since you've already sat here. So you can kind of just go straight to knowing what you have to do. So you may, you know, you can ignore that email. But um, that's what's going to happen at the conclusion of the video. All right. I want to thank everybody for, for joining along with us today. Um, I do want to uh, remind everyone that on, on the lecture schedule are some recommended homework dates that we have for you. And what the dates, these dates represent when the homework should be done. So it's, it's kind of more of a guideline. It doesn't mean that there's a penalty if you don't have the homework due, but it kind of can help you know, this is where I should be at. So for example, on November 7, you should be at 11, 6, 11, 7, or 12. This is where you should be. And that kind of will help you um, to know, to kind of keep a good pace of things. Um, so follow the schedule. This is also um, all the documents that we're referring to today are going to be in the same place. So one of the most important places that you can go to um, when you are trying to find the documents that pertain to this class will be in the document sharing section. This will be all your test preps will be here. 
as soon as I get the other, the next test preps, I'm going to be putting them in this section. And the lecture schedule is here. You can click that at any time, download it, and find out any information, including an overview of the test dates, as well as where you should be by what date. Please keep in mind that all of the homework that you are working on for a unit is always due by the test deadline. I want to thank you again. This is James Wilson, and we will talk to you later. Hopefully everybody will uh, do well on the test, and thanks again. <laughs>